So if I may just make a last comment too, that as somebody who really is nerdy, as, as Senator bauer Kayon said, when it comes to these toxins. But at the end of the day, I think this is the thing I want to drive home. We are not going to do away with batteries, and we need batteries, and, they, and we're not going to do away with tires, and we're not going to do away with gasoline or diesel for a long time, and they are toxic. We know that. So the balance is what I'm looking for, is the balance of, hey, look, I represented paradise when it burned up, and I was there when we cleaned it up, and, and it was, you're right, there's a lot of toxic stuff there. So we want to do our best to get, the, to get those products safe as we can. At the same time, you know, making it so we can still afford to live in California. And if you've purchased a battery lately, I don't know if you have, but we have farm equipment, a $150 battery is $400 now. So back to my oil scenario, if I'm going to pay $90 versus 30 and I'm on a fixed income and I, and I can't get it, I can't pay that, I'm going to change it in my backyard. And that's not really where I want people to change their oil. I want them to go somewhere else. So there has to be a balance. And at the same time, we're not only charging them up front. We, do it, we have a fee on a battery to recycle the battery up front. You're paying it at the, as a consumer. Same as with oil. So we've, the legislature has taken the approach to charge the pr producer up front. That money is supposed to go to you know, make, go in the cycle, and then they come back to the legislature, and we start, now we're adding more fees on top of those fees to get the job done. So I'm looking for a balance, a fair balance that says, look, we're not going to do away with these products. It's the same scenario as I said when I first, that 5% of my farm, I have to take care of that with herbicides because there's, it won't produce after that, before that. So that's where I'm, I'm, I want to make that statement. So if you'll keep that in the back of your mind that, if you drive the cost so high, the consumer will do something different. We'll haul it out of state. Is that necessarily the best thing for the environment? No. Is there a cost to do that? Yes. So the balance is what I'm looking for. We, you know, as the majority of the legislators here pass the legislation thinking they're saving the environment, great. But are they really? At the end of the day, what are we doing? Are we driving the cost up so high that the, the disadvantaged people in California, we have the highest population of poor people in the nation and we're the fifth largest economy it doesn't make sense something's wrong so i just want to thank you for coming i want to share my concerns about that because at the end of the day when i talk to my constituents who may have to drive 50 miles to get to a place where they can even get their oil changed are going to do it in their backyard and it's going to end up not where i want it typically if there's not a place easy for them to take it so i just want to yeah thank you for coming and I will follow up with, uh, I know there's litigation now at this point over the interpretation of 158, which is unfortunate. It costs people money. And I, I think they're right. I think they were exempted from the program to start with.